Hi everybody, this is Chris, this is Pixelated Photographer, where I'm going to do a quick video on how to edit video in Lightroom 4 instead of the normal pictures. Now it's a slightly different way of doing it, and so um, I want to basically explain the, the, the basics behind it. So uh, recently I've been testing out the GoPro HD 2, and so see, these are some of the videos, as you can tell they're my videos because um, it all starts with me looking at the camera. Um, <laughs> and so, the every one of these, when you, when you load them up into uh, your library, what you'll find is on hover, and you move across the mouse across the, the top, you'll realize that they will actually give you a preview of what you're actually uh, working on, what you're looking at. And so, uh, what we're going to do first of all is, um, right, we're going to Obviously, I want to change some of the white balances because it's. Um, if I open this one up here, uh, some of the white balance is not so good. It was a kind of crappy day, and so we're going to change that up. Right. So if you were in normal Lightroom, what would you do? You you press develop, and it would change, right? Ah, no, no. Um, video is not supported in develop mode. So how the heck do you end up changing all the colors and the uh, and the tones and everything else? So what you can do is, first of all, is the video itself is rather boring um, because it's just pictures of me putting my gloves on and, you know, it's quite dull. So the first thing we need to do is, is probably just cut it back a little bit to, to the area that I want to actually show. So first of all, um, what you can do is you can go into this little icon right down the bottom here and it'll bring up this section. Now what this will do is you can just trim the area to where you want to trim it to. So um, that's where I fell on my face. So where are we? Let's do it from about here. So if I just pull that over, basically it's trimming to that mark. And there's me getting stuck and looking at my map. Yeah, it's all very boring. All very, very dull. Right, okay. So, gonna cut it around here. Probably. Yeah, we'll cut it there. So, then bring in the, the right hand slider to that point. And then basically, it's just going to be looking at that part of the video. There's nothing else that's going to affect. Okay. So, make sure that works. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so the next thing you want to do, so you can just close that bit, and now it only affects that one uh, part of the video. The other thing you can do then is you need to click the, the it looks like a little pane box, I don't know what that is. So if you, uh, because we, we can't uh, go into the develop mode, we need to set up a preset to apply to the entire movie, and that's the way we're going to be doing it. So if you go to... Um, capture frame and you bang that what happens is you'll notice right down the bottom here a picture will appear it's not a video it's just a normal picture and it's just one frame from that one scene that we were just looking at now of course what we can now do is go into the develop mode and so what we can now do is actually mess with our white balance our contrast whether you want more or less it's completely up to you um, and um, uh, let's make it a black and white let's make it black and white so everybody can see what's going on quite easily um, and think right okay that's cool that's that done so what do you do now so the next thing you need to do is go over to the right hand side here and uh, you just click on the plus on the presets button and what it'll do is it'll ask you to um, uh, make a new preset. So we're going to call this uh, pixelated, uh, so we know, uh, pixelated black and white. There you go. And then all you've got to do, you can just leave all of this stuff alone. Just click create. And that is it. Okay, so let's go back to our video. Oh no, we can't do it in develop mode. Right, okay, go into the library. And now what you'll find is that there's a new section in the, on the right hand side here called Quick Develop. And of course it's got Save Presets, White Balance, blah blah blah. So what you can do is, 
then you can go into your um, user presets and click pixelated black and white and what it'll do is it'll say some developers are not supported for video files but it's fine don't worry about it click OK and look at that and now if we click go it'll apply it to the entire video how cool is that and it's so quick to do it's actually I'm probably going to do most of my editing in this now so how about that for a cool cool little thing to have and it's very very simple um, the only thing is that these video modes do take up a lot of memory and that's something to watch out for but um, otherwise what a great little system to extra little thing to have in Lightroom so I think it actually makes Lightroom worth buying the new version so oh tree so there you go that's a quick video for you I uh, hope you like it leave some comments and uh, check out the website pixelatedphotographer.com thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time bye